so you can see there is a qr code scanner but what is the purpose of this qr code scanner let me show you this is your student's data and here is your student qr code and you just scan your qr code from your web camera from your mobile phone camera and it will mark the attendance the system will mark the attendance of this particular student so this is a late arrival student so you can see the attendance marked successfully and saved in our google sheet so welcome back to in our another video this video is qr code attendance system which is created by using the google sheet as a database and google web app script this web app have three user roles the admin the teacher and the student and we will discuss about all the roles step by step so first you can see i am currently logged as a admin this web application come with two types the desktop type and the mobile version okay so this is also mobile friendly give you the mobile friendly interference and you can also see on the desktop so on the right side okay you can see this is a mobile interference and this is your desktop interference and this is a dashboard where you can take the overview of the complete system and right now we don't have any enough data so maybe the charts will be not fulfilled to your needs okay so if we add the data the charts will give you the data okay as per your available data in your google sheet okay you understand this this is a qr code scanner you see here we scan the qr code and mark the student attendance but here's the one thing how we can scan this to uh, qr code you see in our video start this is a student section and this is a qr code this is very very difficult to scan the qr code the student must have a id card and on that particular id card they must have their qr code yes i consider this problem and for that i have created this id card section yes definitely i have created a generate student id card selection where you can select a particular class great one okay and click on this generate id cards so when i click on this generate id cards so you can see this is your school name student id card and this is your student picture let me show you the student picture just copy this and go to the students and update the url with my youtube logo okay so i just replace it here and uh, click on this generate id card again so you can see this is the student picture and this is the qr code what you can scan from your phone camera or your web camera understand if they have multiple students they can easily generate all the students card at a one time i don't know exactly in which grade i have multiple students i think it's in grade five okay so you can see in grade five we have the two students and you can see the two id cards here so you can generate bulk id cards understandable things okay let's back to the student section in the student section i came back and this web application this web dashboard will give you the fast results it will not give you any delay in your responses because in this system i have added at some type of technique in your backend data in your backend database what happened if we have a large amount of rows the student the web application the google sheet web app will be slow but i have fixed this problem i have reduced the rows okay so you can see this is a grade 5 means a separate class and this is a grade 3 okay understand this is a grade 3 and click on the start scanner and click on this qr code and you can see i have just scanned this grade 3 student okay so this is late arrival you can also set the arrival time i will show you definitely watch the video till the end i will explain every feature step by step okay you can see in the back end we have created a neuro but you have tell me sir you are using a different kind of technique so what is this what is the different kind of technique okay so this is a grade 5 and this is a grade 5 student understand now you can easily able to see here in this particular c2 cell we have the grade 5 student this particular date okay this particular date data only one okay understand sir. so this is a grade 5 and i just simply click on this qr code and click on the start scanner so you can see i just scan the qr code from my web camera and now the student 4 is going to be marked attendance so it is also late because you if you mark the attendance before this time the student will be considered not late if you mark the if the teacher marked the presence after this particular time the student will be marked as late comer okay you understand this feature as well okay so now see here now we don't have any new row here but where is the data of this particular student because we have used the json data format and you can see there is a one more data added in this particular c2 cell okay so what happened if in grade 5 we have 100 of students so it will save in this particular 2 by 2 okay in, the, in this particular row it will not create a new row for grade 5 on this particular date but if you are going to mark the attendance on the 18 date so it will create a new row so in this way we have reduced our rows so we can get our results fast way okay understand them so this is a what is this uh, history section when you just simply click on this here you can see the attendance history of that particular student this is a current month january these are the absence and this is the present coming and this is the uh, because these are the days are coming in future so it will coming days leave is zero absent is 70 present okay so you understand this feature 
this web application have the teacher and the student role and also you can apply the leaves so watch this video complete you can understand it well okay so if you want to edit the data let's take example i am just going to make it grade 1 to grade 5 okay this is a grade 5 and click on this save so when i click on this save as of now you can able to see a student updated successfully to the grade 5 understand and if you want to add a student you can simply add the students from here so what is the view attendance in the view attendance you can get the attendance data of the overall okay right now you can see here we have the two roles but here we have the three data so we have converted the json data to this kind of data so you can see every student row by row okay you understand and also you can apply the filters here and everything you can download the pdf and also you can make the everything so you can do done from here understand that okay so what is the mark attendance feature mark attendance feature what is the mark attendance feature so you just simply select a grade from here in these three grades we have the students and i just simply click on this load students so when i click on this load students let's let take example there are um, you can take uh, what you can say if the teacher is forgotten to mark the attendance using the qr code and they have don't they don't have camera access but they want to add the manual attendance so they can do something like that in the mark attendance section you just simply click on this present absent or everything okay so the, why this is the ll comes automatically because this student these students have applied for the leaves and the admin or teacher both and the admin or teacher both approved the leave for multiple days so whenever student load the students data and they can automatically get these leaves are approved for these students the leave is already approved so they will not forget they will by mistake and they will not make it absent so if they absent they will get be fine okay so this is present and click on this save attendance so when he save the attendance now you can easily able to see here attendance marked out successfully and you can see here the data is updated okay you understand them understand qr code done mark attendance done, view attendance done student done leave request id cards also done so in the users section what is the users section in the user section you can manage the users data okay you can add update or delete the data from here so you, you, right now you can able to see here these are the students data okay you understand it well okay so in the user section you can also see this okay now we are seeing the setting sections from here so what is the setting section as you know we are giving the same functionality in every of our video you can change the color scheme of your web application like as what you want so this is your dead feature understand that okay now the admin can mark weekly holidays what is the weekly holidays let me show you what i mean to say i just go to the student section and when i go to the student section and here in the history section this is absent 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 and these are the absent things okay you understand but no custom holidays added yet in the settings section you can see this is our auto absent feature and many of the features let me explain you step by step let's take example this is a weekly holidays okay you understand and if i want to add a custom holiday on the 19th date holidays uh, subscription is remise okay and click on this ad so when i click on this ad as of now you can able to see here holiday is added out successfully holiday is added out successfully you understand them i just replace this particular date with here okay you get it okay understand and what is the fine management thing this is a fine management if the student have three number of absences then from the fourth absent they will get the fine amount of 100 rupees means if a student in a in the continuum month in the current month have the three absence have three absence but they will do the fourth absence fourth leave as well absent not the leave it's the absent so they will get on the fourth leave 100 rupees fine okay if criteria is three absences in four days fine of 90 will be applied for violation so you can do it as per your need okay late arrival and punctuality okay so you can also update the time of according to your school according to your things okay so this is late penalty criteria if a student continue late for three days so they will be late penalty in seven three days late so you can also do this if a student is late three times in seven days they will get be flagged or disciplinary action okay you understand automatic absence marking so there is a email notification system we have enabled so whenever you enable the trigger whenever you enable the trigger daily on this particular time the trigger the app script will run and send the emails and mark them automatically absent okay and mark them automatically absent the qr code is not scanned today let me show you let me give you a practical things in the qr code scanner a teacher open the camera and scan 20 students but they miss two students what about those students those students will be considered as absent but teacher have not marked it so automatically system run are on this particular time and it will automatically mark that particular students as absent understand okay now email notification system 
what you want email notification system daily everything you can do okay so this is your weekly or daily enable notification system what it will do if a student is absent they will get on their email that you are absent you are not in our school so they will get a proof and you can add their parents email so their parents can also get the results okay i just simply click on this enable email notifications cannot read properties undefined reading to string okay so let we enable the daily email triggers automatically and we can select our particular time on which time the email will be triggered out okay so i just simply click on this enable email triggers and as of now you can able to see here email notifications enabled daily which will send the absent status to the absent students okay you understand everything now we have learned about dashboard qr scanner mark attendance view attendance id cards user settings this is a leave request system what is the leave request system here the student applied the leave request that they will not come to this particular reason blah 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 okay so what happened the admin or teacher both will approve if both will approve their leave then the student will be considered as leave otherwise it will be considered as absent in this case you can see the teacher is rejected the leave but the admin has still pending so i am the admin i can still approve the leave so what happened in this scenario in this scenario the leave will not be considered so the teacher need to update this leave to be from rejected to approved okay you understand so what happens if the leave is here let me show you this is a student one go to the student section and find the student one you can also apply the filters and everything you can do it student one this is a student one simply click on this here and when i click on this here you can see there is a six leave and what is their leave this leave this leave this leave this leave and this leave okay on leave so these are the their approved leaves okay you understand them and this is their comings okay we have learned about the admin now we just log out this is a dark mode also don't worry this is a dark mode spot also don't worry about it okay i just log out from the system and click on this yes log out so when i click on this yes log out you can see this is a user section and this is a teacher i just simply copy this and paste it here and again paste it here and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see here i am successfully logged in as a teacher i am successfully logged in as a teacher so what happened here what happened here so this is a teacher have the grade one access but in the grade one we don't have any student we don't have any student in grade one let me make it grade one and refresh our database and go to the student section so when i go to the student section now you can able to see here this student this teacher is for the grade one you can see this teacher is for the grade one and this grade one have one have one student and they can see the qr code and mark the attendance from this scanner so when i start this scanner so as of now you can able to see here marking attendance for this particular student so you can see late arrival and the student marked done okay so in the history section you can easily able to see here there are two leaves on which date there leaves these are two particular leaves okay you understand them this is the feature but admin teacher cannot able to add edit or update the students view attendance teacher can also able to view the attendance okay what student this is a grade one because they can only access the grade one okay all students student two so this is the student two data from this particular date to this particular date data okay from this particular date to this particular date data right now today is 18 so you can see the 18 this data so you can filter the month from from date from and everything you can do it from now you understand well from me and if the student teacher want to mark the attendance manual they can simply load the students and they can easily mark the attendance from here and click on this save and in the qr corner you can see the qr features available in the dashboard they can only able to see their data this is one grade student and this is their data on their personal data okay now you can see this is a leave request if a student send a leave this teacher will be approved or rejected once approved he cannot able to reject okay understand this is also dark like mode now we understand the teacher login as well now we go to the student section this is student and we will just update the password from here and we log in as a student from here so when i log in from the student as of now you can able to see here student can only able to see their own data this is student my data and this is their attendance history okay and this is their leave request where they can easily able to apply for a leave but cannot edit or update them okay once leave is applied it's applied done so in the dashboard section you the student will only able to see their own data okay so it will take time because there's in the student it will take time because there is a too much computations behind them they will get check here's in the students and matching the database schema so everything so it will take a little bit time to show them the results so you can see there is 24 violations fine per violations and three absence and everything you can see here okay so this is your QR code attendance system. Hope you like this video and you like this concept. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe our channel if you like this kind of video more.